What's going on guys, Challenge here, and the latest Season 3 trailer, or the obviously the only Season 3 trailer for Call of Duty Modern Warfare just dropped, and it is massive, it is huge. We are getting some updates, some two new maps, or a rework and something else. We got two new weapons, we got some the return of Alex from the campaign, who we thought was dead, but he has a prosthetic leg. And we got an update to Warzone in terms of size, introducing squads, and the new weapons. Now first off, this, uh, this trailer, you know... Pretty good, pretty good, I'm excited. Season 3 has a lot promised to it, especially with the fact that now Warzone is now in the game. We have another mode to play. So, seeing that there's going to be a 4v4 game mode is certainly going to help. You know, not 4v4, 4 player squads, because it always sucks leaving that one guy out. It really, really does. We also got the return of Backlot, a Modern Warfare, original Modern Warfare Call of Duty 4 map. I obviously love that map to pieces. I really, really love Backlot. That map, it is awesome. It is great. I just can't wait to get on back lot. And we also have what seems to be a uh, sawmill. It looks like village from Modern Warfare 3, but apparently it's confirmed through leaks and the map sizes that it is not. It's actually a brand new map, which I'm cool with. You know, bring brand new maps in the game as well as you know, I'm fine with some old maps returning. But again, I want to see more of those new maps, and I'm glad we're getting one at launch. We also have another, the palace one seems to be getting a little bit of a rework in terms of uh, where we're allowed to play. It's not going to be as big. It's going to be more condensed in the palace. And I think that's actually really good. That is That part of the map is always the most played map. I don't know why Infinity War took this long to incorporate it into, uh, you know, making sure we can play that portion of the map. Just smaller. Just close the borders off. It, it makes sense. And also, we have a new pistol, which I'm not really sure what it is. But I do know that the other weapon we're going to be getting is the SKS. Now, these two weapons, I will be doing a weapon review of for at some point tomorrow giving you my thoughts my impressions the video will probably be later in the day to be honest because i gotta unlock these weapons i gotta get attachments for it. i gotta try them out get footage get come up with a general overall thought about the weapon with that being said let me know what you guys think about season three are you guys excited for four player squads to be introduced into warzone again i love three players especially for apex but in call of duty for some reason i just feel like four players always made more sense and i think it would definitely add and maybe make the experience a lot more better because, you know, leaving that one friend out in Call of Duty Warzone is a tough thing to do. Now that there's four players, you can get a really good size squad. And, you know, for Call of Duty Blackout, you know, it worked. And I was a little shocked that Call of Duty Warzone took the three-player approach instead of the four-player approach. With that being said, it's all I have to say about Season 3 that it drops tomorrow, April 8th. I'm assuming 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The update should be live for you guys to go in if you guys are home. I mean, we're all home right now. At least I hope. So, we'll be able to check for the update, get that update, hop right in. Also, going to be doing a Battle Pass overview that tomorrow as well at some point, so make sure you subscribe for that, and subscribe for obviously more Call of Duty gameplays. Later today, we got a brand new Warzone gameplay, so be on the uh, lookout for that at the channel. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Let me know what you guys think about the trailer. Challenge you here, and I'm out.